Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. This is your host, Bulbor Plays. Last time, we had no clue we were going. Now, I'll tell you the truth. I tried recording this, I forgot to. So I know exactly what we need to do now. Turns out, we can sail on rivers. From our boat. And I've also found the airship. So, I'm sorry if I don't seem as authentic anymore, but... Right, well, I kept the save for this occasion. I really need to get into the habit of checking my indicator. Of course, we'll still have fun. I'm sorry. Um, Dread, I think, got 27 HP. Serena got 6 HP, 17 MP. Agility, Stanima, Nina got 4 HP, 10 MP. I'm sorry. Part of me just wants to get back to where I was. I found a lot of nice loot. Which we'll have to go get again, but... Oh, actually I need to go get one spell while I'm near Melmond. We're gonna say goodbye to Dierga. Because, to be honest, heal is a lot more useful at this point. Ah, duh, we have to make or forget here. Goodbye, Dierga. Actually, I'm pretty sure if I had Dia Healer up, I would have been able to beat Severus. And then maybe found out. Ugh, darn the devil's tail. And you too, shark. Okay, so we're heading to a river up here. Kill him with punching. He'll use gaze. And they go down without much of a fight. Potion? Got a lot of those from the last set of episodes, so... Sorry, I don't know my way. Okay, so north, then we'll take a right. Yochu. Yochu down. We What am I doing? Don't do that. That was me being very stupid. How much money? Yeah, by the end of this, I had around... What's that cavern there? I gotta go check that out later. So we accomplished nothing except frustrate crocodiles. There we go, now they're dead. 
Ulbor gets a level. He gets 28 HP, agility, and stamina. Wow, I just realized this is goblins at this point in the game. I like those black goblins back in <laughs> that cave. I believe now is the time to run. If you want to, there's a lot of enemies which inflict petrification and... No, this is just Pisco Demons. And there's these guys, which are the easiest thing in the dungeon. Okay, correction. There's one thing a bit easier than them, but... We haven't seen them yet. Go, 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 go. Cockatrices. As we all know, stoning is bad. So we're just gonna run. Just jump down. Spectres everywhere. Let's kill them. Here's pretty much the other easy enemy in this area. They're pretty much what gave me a bunch of the money I had accumulated by then. And we're gonna need a lot of money coming up. There we go. Okay, set it up. Now, of course, in Final Fantasy, this is one of the games which it's essentially impossible to lose if you have fighters. And so, I guess that's always good. Running down, Cavern of Ice, Basement 3, this Basement 2. Now, you may not see it, but there's a crack right in front of me and all over these chests. I'm going to loot these two chests. And here's another fairly easy enemy, more like I didn't really see it do much. I always... they have like below 100 HP, so I've always killed them before I had to worry about it. Let's see. However, they drop a lot of money. And that chest, I forgot, was clothes. Yes, it's the worst possible gift ever. And we get a flame sword. <laughs> Bulbor will be using this flame sword for a while. Now we're going to deliberately fall into a hole. This is a trap. We can't avoid it. Here we'll take some damage. Again, not much we can do about it. Except to laugh as we then wipe him out in one shot. Ah. Uh. Now, these things hurt you, me, us while we walk across. I'm gonna heal up because Pretty tough enemies are just ahead guarding the treasure that we want. Because we're going to loot. Now, right ahead of me is White Dragons. Now, we only got one this time, but two can spawn. Nah. And it didn't use its very deadly attack. Fortunately, that flame sword makes short work. They drop a lot of money. Ice armor. Let me throw gloves. Now if we had come here first, this ice armor would have done some a good number on protecting us from that, um, Merlith's, um, spells. Oh well. Not much. And now we've got ambush, so they're gonna use... This is what I was afraid they were gonna use. Fortunately, we're unstoppable now. And down goes the dragon again, we get 2,000 more gil.
We'll go and use a heal Ra plus a cure Ra. The same thing as is to grind them for money. I'm not gonna do that. Um, there's loot all over, I think. Here's kind of... These enemies inflict instant death. That was frightening. Whoa, freaky. That may... Uh, I've never seen that before. I'm betting that also deals instant death. Oh well, fire kills everything. Okay, sorting it up, we have a bunch of ethers and not much of ups. Darn it. Okay. Yes, there is. There's loot over here. Leave. More of the family f favorite specters. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry if you were looking for me fumbling around like an idiot. Unfortunately, for see, for knowledge is forewarned. For sight is forewarned. Whatever. Bunch of money. Oh, there wasn't anything here. Oh. Oh well. Also, if you note, the only thing that's really dealt damage to me was that I've never seen this loot, so this is new. 990. Oh my god. We're gonna get rich here. Okay, where's the trap? Here we go. Okay. Here's a bunch of winter wolves. Unfortunately for them, their winter theme means they mu- Oh! Ouch. Please give me a turn. Okay. There goes one. So if they use Ice Storm, they can be a threat, but they're still just wolves. And there we have it. A lot more money. And we have level up. Strad gets 28 HP, strength, luck. Serena gets 6 HP, 7 MP, intelligence. And we also get a free ice shield. We're going to equip this ice shield since it's better than our mithril one. Eh. I can't escape without activating a trapped tile, so whatever. An ice storm. Thank you. Now you can go politely die. And Nina gets a level. She gets 4 HP, 21 MP, agility, intelligence, and luck. A lot of money. I'm sorry, keep opening the map. So, we're quite a deal richer now. To deal with whatever threat. Here's blood bones, no comment. They weren't really that distinct to me. I'm gonna do it ill in battle heal, Rub, because, well, better safe than sorry, right? I may encounter more dragons. There we have it. Again, a lot of the enemies in here are t so weak. I'm guessing I was supposed to come here first to help with the mer um, fire orb um, crystal. Whatever they call it. Sorry. On one hand, earth orb. On the other hand, fire crystal. So I don't know what they want. Okay. Sweet, some free loots. Free ether. There's also some loot down here. More Prisco demons, other aka more money. Yeah. Really nothing in here poses much of a threat to me. Okay. 
I may be over leveled because of this. Oh, in fact, kind of is what it's telling me. More Pisco Demons. Oh, I love you, Pisco Demons. No, I don't. They're just Pisco Demons. Bulbur gains a level, he gets 20 HP, strength, and luck. A solid 10,000. So we're coming out of here insanely richer than how than when we came in. And by that I mean we've doubled our investment. Come on guys, I know you're better than this. They're Pisco Demons. We were playing these back in the Marsh Cave. Then again, you're taking damage much higher than I would expect, but... No map. Ugh. I guess I should use Healer Ra. Seeing as we're running low on HP. Uh, please don't kill Gerard. As fun as it is to kill him, please don't kill him. Wait a moment. Okay, sorry about that again. For the abrupt skip. So here's a couple of chests before for yourself. A sleeping bag, which kind of is useless. 9,500. And this is the eye shield they give you. Now we can't really use it, so... I'm sad, but... And here's the kind of boss of this area, an evil eye. Don't know what it did. I killed it in literally that. They die so fast. However, gave me 3,000 more money, so I guess I should be happy. Of course, I hate mandatory traps. Oh well, so we're just gonna rush out here now, no reason to stay. Ugh. Sorry, I just... Again, none of this is new, so it's... kind of a chore to, that I had to do it again. 